So in the end, Hobbes was at the heart of the whole scam. All we have to do now is find the painting. Yeah, then we blow everything open and nail Madofsky. I get that front page story. And I get to clear my name and keep my job. So much for your devil-worshipping Gnostic, Josh. Well, you know me. Nothing I like more than a good conspiracy. Hold on a second. What's the matter? This chain. It's from the gate. So? It's been forced. A break-in? Or maybe a breakout? Hobbs escaping from Lady Piermont? <laughs> maybe. But this doesn't feel right. Nico was in her element, hot on the trail of a story. Hey, Nico. Yes, Charles? You got any ideas how to get inside? Have you tried knocking? Well, that didn't work last time. Just an idea. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi. I told you there'd be no answer. You think of our way in. Still no answer. We should look for another way in. Hey, Nico. Yes, Charles? Do you think Hobbs is actually home? Well, his van is here. Hobbs's van was there. He had to be home. A blast on the horn had worked last time. Hmm. Ominous. A crowbar lay discarded on the ground. Hey Nico, take a look at this. Do you think someone used it to force the gate? Possibly. But their loss is our gain. You never know when you're going to need a crowbar. I wondered why somebody would throw away a perfectly good crowbar. There was no lip to fit the crowbar into. Before talking to Nico again, I needed to come up with a plan to get in. The door on the balcony looks like it's open. How are you going to get up there? I'm working on that. I gotta get through that door somehow. You're going to need to get up there first. A rusty old drain pipe. Hey, Nico. This drain pipe looks climbable. Are you mad? Hey, get out of here! Seagull problem, Josh? That's one nasty bird. 
The crane was tangled in a mess of cables and bird nest, but it looked like the swing arm could reach the balcony. It was worth another try. Get lost! Beaten by a seagull again? That is one hell of a sharp beak. That was a mean-looking seagull. Hey, Nico. What's yours? I think I could probably get through that door up there. Oh, be careful. It's pretty high. That is one mean-looking seagull. You don't want to make it angry. Do me a favor and honk the horn. No problem. <coughs> the crane was rusted solid. I'd need more force to free it. Hey, Nico. What's yours? Nico, could you honk the horn again? Sure. Be careful, Josh. Right there, Nico. I'll come and let you in. Something isn't right. We'd better be careful. Jasmine had finished playing, but the needle was stuck. Thanks, Josh. That was really starting to annoy me. The fuse box was emitting a sinister buzzing sound. It was in a bad state. I decided that some lighting might help. The fuse box buzzed slightly, but nothing happened. I guessed the lighting circuit had gone. Josh, be careful. Hope said those circuits were old. Yeah, I think I'll leave the lights off. I wasn't going to mess around with that wiring. There were no freezing Lady Piermonts to placate. Nico? Yes? Any ideas? Something doesn't feel right. Why leave the music on? Hobbs is probably passed out drunk. We need to get upstairs and find out. Whoa. You better come and take a look at this. Mon Dieu. It's a Manet. Oh, no, it's not. 
it's a Hobbes, in the style of Manet, or as the experts prefer to call it, a forged Manet. Hobbes isn't just a restorer, he's a full-blown forger. Oh, that must be... You. Hobbes is good. You look very pretty. And <laughs> that's you. Oh my, you look very... Violated. Yes. Is that Lady Piermo? Yes. Is she... Yep. In your... Yeah. Oh, so all along we were just modeling for a forgery. Forgery. Terrific, huh? I can add it to my murder rap. Let's just pretend this never happened, okay? Hobbes had done a fantastic job, but I hoped the painting would never see the light of day. The door looked reinforced. The melodic seal had to be in there somewhere. Locked. If Hobbes is home, he's behind this door. A metal strip had been welded to the door frame, specifically to stop anyone levering the door open. What are you doing? I'm not exactly sure yet. It was a fairly lengthy piece of chain. I had a feeling the chain was going to be useful. What are you doing? That should do the trick. The door was wide open. So what now? Let's see what Hobbes keeps tucked away up here. So this is Hobbes's lair. Not exactly the penthouse suite, is it? At the end of it all, Nico was going to have one terrific story to write. Nico? Yes, Josh? What should we do now? It's pretty quiet up here. Let's take a look around. This is a true masterpiece. A fake masterpiece, you mean? I wouldn't like to try and clean anything in this sink. Thankfully, I don't think you'll have to. Washing brushes in the sink would have just made them dirtier. Apart from some old pipework, the cupboard was empty. It was a beautiful painting. Hobbes' sandals lay on the floor. It was a pair of old sandals. The sofa was a wreck. Tucked in amongst the junk on the cupboard was an answer phone. Nico. What is it? Hobbes' answer phone, and he's got messages. Let's hear them. You have two messages. Message one. Hobbes. Medovsky here. I'm at the airport. I have to be quick. My flight leaves shortly and I... Final call for passengers for flight BA 470 to Barcelona. It is a shame that you would like to be released from our agreement. It was mutually lucrative. But if that is your wish, I respect it. 
I shall send my men around to tie up any of the sand. Take care, my friend. Message two. Hello, darling. It's Bichu. Look, sweetie, but I'm going to have to put our little plans on hold. I've spoken to that insurance man and his girlfriend and told them pretty much everything. I want to be with you, Wilfie, but Henri's murder, you know. <laughs> anyway, I can't possibly leave here until his name is cleared. I feel so guilty, darling. Do you think he knew about us? Do take care with that Russian, my love. Bon voyage, my love. A bientôt. You have no more messages. Wow. So Bijou knew about everything. At least she was faithful to Henri in the end. And what if Madovsky's guy got here first? What if Madovsky's guy's still here? I'd already listened to the answer phone. Another Hobbes masterpiece. Oh no. What's up? Nico. Oh no, Hobbes! Is he... Dead? Sure looks that way. Poor guy. He's been strangled. You know, maybe Simeon was right. It seems like anyone who gets close to this painting dies. The painting didn't kill him, Georges. This is all about money. It was a still life. This one's really strange. It's an abstract, Georges. Of course it is. The painting was pretty abstract. Isn't this beautiful? It is, Georges, but we have things to do. Hobbes was at his best capturing detail. I'm not a great fan of still life. An acquired taste, perhaps. It was a still life. Another Hobbes masterpiece. A beautiful scene. Come on, Georges. We need to get going. Another Hobbes masterpiece. Ooh, this one's a bit dull, don't you think? It's supposed to be still life, Georges. It was another fabulous painting. That painting would look pretty good back in the office. What do you think of this portrait? It looks familiar. Who is it? I can't put my finger on it. It was a familiar looking portrait. Take a look at this. Someone's cut out a painting from this frame in a hurry. The canvas left around the frame looks just like La Maledizio. If that was La Maledizio, then someone's beaten us to it. But remember how Bijou said the original was hidden? You're right. And Hobbes is a master forger. Then whoever stole this one has got themselves a genuine Hobbes fake. And the original should still be around here, hidden somewhere. The canvas left around the frame matched La Maledixio. So what did Bijou mean? She'd said the original was behind her behind. Nico? Yes, Josh? Any bright ideas, Nico? I think we should take a look around. It was a bucket used to catch drips. I had no reason to go back downstairs. Strange. Hey, Nico, come and take a look at this. This 
painting. There's something familiar about it. It's a woman's buttock shawls. I know that, but I recognize them. Know what? I think it's Bijou. I don't want to know how you know that, George. But did not she say the painting was hidden behind her behind? Exactly. So maybe... Damn it, it's screwed into the wall. It was a rather intimate portrait of Bijou's behind. La Maledizio! We found it! Amazing! You're sure it's the real thing? Well, I'm no expert, but yeah, it must be. Look, in the middle! It's the same face that Hobbes drew on his sketch, and the same symbol cut into his forehead. He must have uncovered it when he was cleaning the painting. But I wonder why a tree was originally painted over it. Like Simeon said, hidden Gnostic secrets. One thing is certain, this one is the original. Which means whoever cuts the painting from that easel has a copy. And I'll bet my bottom dollar it doesn't have the hidden image in the Ouroboros. We've got the painting, Nico, but there's got to be more to find in here. You're right. Once the police are involved, we won't get another chance. We need to be quick. Whoever killed Hobbes may come back. Father Simeon had said La Maledicio was a map. It was the strangest map I'd ever seen. It was some kind of medieval human pyramid. An ethereal figure was emerging from the clouds. In the clouds, a bearded figure looked out over the landscape. It was a tower of tormented souls. They looked like the damned. The priest appeared to have a padlock through his mouth. He was pointing down to the ring below him. It was the figure of a priest, but with a dog's head. The figure was pointing up at a ring above him. There was a tower within the ring. Maybe it indicated a place? A scarred face stared back at me from within the Ouroboros. Hobbes must have uncovered the image when he was restoring the painting. But what did it mean? And what was its link to the tabula veritatis? A symbol was cut into the man's forehead. Simeon had claimed that it was the sign of the tabula veritatis. A large Ouroboros dominated the center of the painting. Before he was killed, Simeon had said that the tree inside the Ouroboros represented hidden Gnostic knowledge. And here it was. A whole new image inside the snake. Hobbes had uncovered it, but now he was dead. Inside the ring was what looked like an affluent town. Within the ring there were a number of houses. It was a village or a small town. Inside the ring was a castle gate. I had no idea what it signified. Rickenbacker could wait. The painting was part of something much bigger than an insurance claim. Hobbes had a bulletin board on the wall. Nico, come and take a look at this. Looks like Hobbes has been busy. A map of Catalonia, sketches and notes on the painting. Do you think Hobbes was looking for this tabula veritatis? I think Hobbes was a lot cleverer than he seemed. I wondered what Hobbes was looking for on a map of Catalonia. It looks like a sketch of a figure from La Melodexio. I guess Hobbes was mining it for clues. A photograph of some kind of human pyramid. 
It's from an article about Castel Catala. It's Catalan, I think. Catalan Castle. Hobbes linked it to his sketch of the human pyramid from a painting. Another Ouroboros. Looks like Hobbes picked the painting apart for clues. There must be something here that shows us where the tablet is. Okay, so this is the human pyramid from the painting. Look, Hobbes has highlighted Castel again. And he connected the two. So this pyramid could be a Castel. Something was familiar about this part of the painting. Marquez was interested in this sketch as well. It scribbled all over it. It must be important. It's the tree from the painting, the, the one with all the people in it. Very creepy. It was a sketch of the old man's face in the painting. It was an article in Catalan about a castel. It was a human pyramid with castel written by it. It was a sketch of the tree from the painting. Town of Lampoya. Castel de Monson, the city of Tarragona, Castel de Rubí, the city of Barcelona, <laughs> I knew that one at least, Castel de Galifa, town of Lleida, Castel de Balaguer, Castel de Pubol, Castel del Mongri, the city of Girona, the city of Berga, Castel de Besora, the city of Trem, Castel de Gurp, the town of La Seu de Geo, Castel de Montardo, Castel de Tosas, the town of Figueras, Castel del Sans. I think Sans means saints. That's what Marquez wrote on the photo. So that would make a Castel del Sants a tower of saints. Like in the painting. This must be the clue. I guess this pretty much ties up the investigation, Georges. Yep. Should be enough to get Nave off my back. In the end, it was all about money. And greed. Madovsky wanted to sell the painting and claim the insurance. And he didn't care how many people he killed along the way. So what now? Hand over everything to the police? I guess so. With what we found out, Langham should have no trouble picking up Madovsky in Spain. I do wonder what that secret map points to. You still think the evil Gnostics are behind it all? Well, I don't know. But I do have questions that haven't been answered. Such as? Well, what do those symbols on the painting mean? What was Marquez really up to? Why was the sign of the Tabula Veritatis hidden under layers of paint? And why is the building on fire? And what did... Did you say fire? We need to get out of here! I wasn't going to open that door with a fire on the other side of it. Beautiful scene. Come on, Georges. We need to get going. Nico? Yes, Georges? Any ideas? I think we start looking for another way out, and fast. I'm looking. The skylight was slightly ajar. The mechanism was for opening and closing the skylight. It looked corroded. That would be pointless. A paint-splattered old dust sheet. Tying the sheet to the crowbar made a halfway decent grappling hook. The window wasn't open enough to fit the hook and line through. I needed to find a way to open it more.
I had no idea what treasures lay within. Well, looky here. A useful bottle of Diet Cola. It was a cheap bottle of Diet Cola. It was the only thing in the cupboard. You never know when you might need a Diet Cola. That's Hobbs's last bottle. He's not going to need it. It was Hobbs. He'd been murdered. Strangled from the look of it. Whoever did this was a professional. We need to be careful. Hobbs had been strangled. There was a packet of mints in Hobbs's pocket. Dead man's mints. No law against taking them. You have no shame, George. Some sugar-free mints. I dropped the mints into the cola and quickly tightened the cap again. I put the mints inside the cola bottle. It was about to blow. An open skylight looked like our ticket out of here. This should help us get out of here. After you, Nico. Terrific. Out of the fire, into the frying pan. Wait, Josh, isn't that... Lionel. Oh, thank God. Hey, Langham! Langham! Help! We're up here! Quick! Round here. Why didn't he help us? I don't know. Maybe because he started the fire. Because he wanted to kill us. Why? I have no idea. You think he killed Tops? Could be. Maybe Simeon too. So who is he? And who does he really work for? I don't know. But I do know one thing. This is not over. Josh, do you hear that? <laughs> London's finest. Now you be nice to the firemen. So what now? Now, we go to Spain in search of the Castel del Sanz and the Tabula Veritatis. Nico and I had thought the adventure was over. Actually, we'd only just started. Nothing was what it seemed. On a trail of corruption and greed, we'd stumbled upon a murderous conspiracy. A conspiracy whose roots lay in mysteries older than the written word. We didn't really have any choice. Catalonia, the foothills of the Pyrenees. After a short flight and a long drive, Nico and I arrived at Castel del Sanz. Back in London, we'd tracked down La Melodexia and had started to unravel its secrets. The painting was a coded map to the location of the Tabula Veritatis, an ancient artifact which Father Simeon had claimed could raise the devil, and for which he and others had already been murdered. We had to find the tabula before the killers. We knew they would stop at nothing.
let's just hope we got here before the bad guys. Hmm. Seems quiet enough. Looks like nobody's been here for years. Must have been a beautiful place, once upon a time. You think the tabula is really going to be here? Somewhere, if we can just decode the painting. Well, it looks deserted. Deserted? I don't think so. Did you see who it was? No, the sun was in my eyes. Looks like somebody's beaten us to it. But who? Medovsky? Langham? Whoever it is, we need to get in there. All right. You make a diversion, I'll try and reach some cover. And be careful. Are you kidding? You're the one who's going to get shot. Josh looked ready to run for cover. Any ideas? We need a target for the shooter. Preferably not me. The mountains made a magnificent backdrop. Shame the place was left to fall apart. The place looked run down and deserted. The shooter would still be watching us. I needed to offer him something for target practice. The crumbling wall offered limited cover. Climbing over the wall would not have been a great idea. My phone had no service. I had been using it to clean up Adam's apartment. In the rush to escape, I must have left it in my pocket. Georges had a golf club once made by the same company. This mop is perfect for the job. You might need a bit more than just a mop, Nico. Parts of the wall had fallen down. A rusty old helmet lay on the ground. It was an old helmet. How about a helmet? It will protect your head while you run. Yeah? What about the rest of me? A helmet on a pole? Always useful. The mop had bore an uncanny resemblance to Josh's hair. Look! A helmet on a pole! Are you okay, Nico? It's the perfect decoy. Keep your head down if you're going to wave that thing around. Oh, I just hope this works. Are you ready? Can't wait. I'd made it without getting shot, but I sure didn't feel lucky. Somehow, I had to distract the shooter again, and this time, I was on my own. With a ghost from the past giving me an evil stare. The view was beautiful. I wish I had time to enjoy it. The sun was blinding. The shots were coming from inside the house. I wanted to get closer to the house, but the shooter wasn't going to let me. Hey! What? Whoa! The crumbling fountain wouldn't provide me with any cover.
I was having a powerful sense of deja vu. I'd never got on with goats. Good goat. No, 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 no. Hey, that's mine. The goat had eaten Hobbs' carefully crafted provenance. The old car was riddled with bullet holes. The old car had been abandoned long ago. The goat wasn't going to let me get to the car door. Ripe apples hung from the tree. Hmm. The tree was way too sturdy for me to shake any apples down. Uh oh! Ouch! <laughs> the old tree offered cover from the shooter. Oh, heck! You hey, thief! The goat had eaten Nico's rejected photograph. <coughs> Luckily, the goat was tied to an old tire. Unluckily, it was blocking my way. Now then, old fella, you don't mind if I move your tire, do ya? No. No, 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 no! Oh, heck. <laughs> Some apples had dropped from the tree. The apples were bruised. They were dirty and badly bruised. I wouldn't offer an apple like that to an enemy. But a goat was different. Hey, Mr. Goat. Uh -huh. Look what I got for you. I was hoping the goat would be more friendly now. Go on. Eat this, boy. The goat couldn't reach the apple pile. A pile of apples had just been laid on a sheet, just out of the goat's reach. A pile of old brandy bottles had been discarded behind the car. Oh boy, you're gonna love this. I distracted the goat, but it wouldn't take him long to eat that apple. The goat now had a whole pile of apples to tuck into. I tossed him my last apple. The goat was eating, but he still kept an eye on me. 
I'd moved the tire further away from the car. The old car had been abandoned long ago. Even while he was eating, the goat had his eye on me. The side view mirror glinted in the sun. I'd broken off the old car's side mirror. I wasn't going to frighten the shooter with his own reflection. I blinded the shooter, time to make a dash for it. Don't think I can't see you, Senor. If you so much as move an inch, I shall shoot you. It was a wind chime made out of old cans. The shooter was just an old man in a straw hat with a large gun. Senor, please! Whoever you are, hold your fire! I'm not armed! Good. That makes it easier for me to shoot you. My name is George Stobart. I'm a friend! I have no friends. Well, that doesn't surprise me. Please, put the gun down. No. Leave now, or I shoot. All we want is a quick look inside the castell. I don't believe you. You are here to kill Senor Marquez. Senor Marquez? He's alive? What? Well, he'll vouch for us. You don't fool me like that. Get out of here before I kill you. Senor Marquez knows me, I swear. And I know a lie when I hear one. Go now, or I shoot. Wait, I have important information. Vuste, vingue a mi. Do you understand what I am saying? Try saying it and let's see. Ah, well, uh, I'm George Stobart, and I come in peace. Please, put the gun down. I'm not armed. And I'm still not hearing an explanation. I can understand the old man being edgy, but you look like a woman who's seen the world. Nice work. You managed to insult Ramon and me in one sentence. Don't move your hands. Hold it. Do you mind putting that down? I've had a really bad day. Guns don't agree with you? No, and neither do goats. I've got bruises in places that, well, you know, places. So leave. We're here looking for something. Well, go look for it somewhere else. We were helping a man called Marquez in Paris. He is my father. I could see where she inherited her temperament. Your father? Well, he's our friend. Why should I believe you? Show me proof. I have your father's medallion. So you're a thief too, huh? Look at this sketch. I'm not interested in your old scribbles. Cookie? I don't take gifts from strangers. Look at this photo. It's old. Do I care? How about this? That's not proof. Try again. We track down his painting. La Maledictio. Look. 
Where did you get this? In London. Hmm. All right. You better come with me, but no funny business, okay? You know, you sound just like my friend Nico. Nico! What's going on, Ramon? Who's out there? Some crazy American. Don't worry. Eva will deal with him. Papa! These people want to talk to you. Eva, I thought we agreed to shoot intruders on sight. You, how did you find me? It wasn't easy, senor. We thought you were dead. You were wrong. They've brought you something, Papa. Can it be? At last, la malediction. Well, Signor Marquez, looks like La Maledexio hangs in its right place again. Indeed. I have waited all my life for this. But... Something interesting? The painting. It is different. The face in the middle. The one with the symbol of the Tabula Veritatis on it? How do you know about the Tabula? A priest told me. Said it was the devil's work. Pa! Priests. Full of lies, every one of them. Oh, really? Well, this priest said that the tabula was an instrument to raise the devil. Fool! Who would want to raise the devil? But you do want to find the tabula. Yes, because it is a Gnostic treasure. It is special, and my duty is to keep it safe. I was sure that Marquez still wasn't telling me the whole truth. And now? I shall decipher the painting and find the tabula. Before she died, my mother said that once the painting hung here again, its meaning would become clear, and the root to the tabula would be revealed. So, what's the answer? Where's the tabula? I don't know. The room has changed. Was there something different about the room back then? No. Yes. I don't know. You must help me. Well, how? I, I'm not a Gnostic. Senor, you must, because soon the Russian will be here. He knows about Castel del Sanz? I regret, Senor, that in Paris I told his sidekick a little too much. Ah, well, I guess we'd better figure this out. And fast. I'll go and keep watch. Shoot on sight, remember. Well, Nico, what now? You try and work out just why the painting has to be in this room. I'll go and see if Eva knows anything. Whether he knew it or not, I was sure Marquez had the answers. It was Marquez. He was studying La Maledizio. Senor Marquez? Mr. Stobart? If we're going to find the tabula... Yes? Then you will have to help. Of course. I mean, by being totally honest with us. <laughs> when have I not been honest? Tell me about the painting. When I was a child, I would stand here for hours, just staring at it. Who was the mysterious painter, El Serp, the serpent? And what did it mean, La Maledictio, the curse? I asked my father, but he just told me to be patient. He said that one day, I would know everything. Senor... Can you decipher any of the painting? The Tower of Saints, of course. I knew it was a castell. And the saints themselves are Gnostic. You see the woman in red? The one you marked in the photo? She is Mary Magdalene, 
we revere her as Christ's greatest disciple. The rest, I don't know. The symbol on the face, it is obviously the tabula. But the elements around it, I don't know. When were you last here, Signor? Not since that day when my father was killed. So why did the painting bring us here? As I said, because only here in this room will its clues become clear. Why is the Tabula Veritatis so important to the Gnostics? It is an object of immense power. My ancestors kept it safe for hundreds of years. They brought it to Catalonia as exiles long ago. In any generation, only one Gnostic knows its exact location. My father, Xavier, was the last of these. He knew dark forces were gathering, but I was too young to learn the secret. So he commissioned La Maledicción, embedding clues to the location of the tabula within the painting. But what is the tabula? What does it do? I do not know. I know only that in the wrong hands it would be catastrophic for mankind. What happened back in Paris? We thought you were dead. A man came to the apartment looking for Miss Collard. He mentioned the stolen painting owned by a Russian. Obviously, I informed him that I was the true owner. Obviously. Next thing I knew, this thug had me pinned to a chair and was threatening to shoot me. So I told him of the castell, and while he telephoned his boss, I hit him with a little china dog. Guess he didn't know you were the pugnacious type. So, Eva is your daughter? She was a gift from God, late in my life. One day she will find room for Gnosticism in her heart, I am sure of it. So, you're the good guys? Good and evil are meaningless terms. We strive simply to maintain balance and keep the tabula from those who seek to exploit it for their own ends. I think this is yours. My medallion? Where did you find it? It was left in Nico's neighbor's apartment. Do you want it back? No, you keep it for now. It has a meaning. A purpose. Perhaps you can find out what. Sure. Just let me know if you ever want it back. Is this one of Nico's photographs of the robbery? Yes, she gave it to me. And did you write these notes on it? Yes, I was trying to solve part of the painting. Solve? I never knew what lay in that portion of La Maledicción. The photograph you have of my family, this part of the painting was missing. But once I saw the Tower of Saints, I knew I had to come here. Just as you did, Senor. So this is you with your mother and father? Indeed, taken in this very building many years ago. Take a look at this sketch. It is the face in La Maledicción. It was drawn by the man who restored the painting. Then he knew of the Tabula Veritatis. What other secrets did he uncover? I don't know, but he's dead now. Just as well. The fewer that know the secrets of La Maledicción, the better. Father Simeon, the Dominican priest, was carrying these papers when he was killed. So? You're not interested in him? I have no interest in priests or their papers, Senor. 
I found Madovsky's provenance for La Melodixil. It is a fake. The painting belongs to my family, senor. Yeah, we worked that out. You want this bunch of flowers? No. Did I ever mention Trevor? The old cockroach in a matchbox trick, eh? Oh, you know it. It's nearly as old as ferret in the pants. Hmm, I'm getting out of touch. Rich tea cookie? Hmm, it looks similar to a Marie. Marie, huh? Can you dunk a Marie? Dunk? What is dunk? Uh, no way. You never dunked? I don't think so. Wow. Well, here's a promise. When this is all over, I'll teach you how to dunk. Thank you, George. I look forward to that. He wouldn't want to see it. He probably wouldn't care. You should get back to it. Ramon, gun in hand, was peering through the old window. A few words, senor? Good. Bye. I'm sorry? You wanted a few words. I just gave you two. Ramon sure was a little light in the charm department. Uh, excuse me? <coughs> I'll leave you to it then. 